the question of one man solution is, is the two challenge rule. If I say simple, because we are doing something together, and he does not answer, if I call him the second time, he does not answer, I don't need to wait for him. I take the initiative to do what he was expected of him. The reason is that what we are doing is logistic. If I don't take the place, the entire thing will come over. So actually, I was speaking from um, the bulk of what I said was from my personal experiences and, of course, um, what I've also studied and I've seen, that the limitation is, is, is so much within the confines of our practice. And for the purpose of diversification, we need to take a step in the right direction to begin to venture into other aspects that are entirely outside our discipline, like agriculture, like politics, like in education like in technology and um, I'm possibly um, even um, doing missions because it is by giving to the outside world that you, you get this higher sense of fulfillment and um, it, is, it is by demonstrating this that you are able to tell the world that you are not limited by protocol or by your discipline as a doctor. It's a medium for which as graduating students or graduating doctors to be, we entire to achieved a balanced and a proficient life outside medical school. This was what informed our decision to call for this seminar program. And in doing this, we call people that we feel are proficient in such areas to tutor us in achieving our aim or our vision. Uh, today is day two of the graduating class seminar that encompasses several varieties of talks. We just had a leadership talk this morning and just ended also is a talk on entrepreneurship by Professor Sage. We are awaiting a talk on family life and from day one to this day we have learned a lot of things. We have learned, we have, we have learned to, to see life outside medicine. We have learned to see life broader than the scope of what we have been taught here. We, are, we have been taught to think outside the box and from, from this I've, I've seen that I'm going far from the things our classmates have done, I, I have prospect of even being part of a member of the World Health Organization. That's one of my prospects. Prospect. And today I... And I've really had a very great time in the sense that we've had talks on leadership, how we're able to balance our family lives with um, career and even being able to reach out um, as doctors and, lead and leaders in the society. And I, s I see my class as a very great class. We're, we're gifted, we have a lot of potentials and we're not just limited to practice in medicine, but we have a lot to give to the whole society and, and the whole na um, nation at large. And I see this as an avenue for us to be able to understand the dynamics of practicing in other spheres of life. You, you see, as an you, you you know as an entrepreneur, you have to think of a number of things. First, is that you must have something to give, and what you have to give must be what people want. You know, if you have what people want, and you are ready to give it in a structured way, and in a way that. Uh, will be well received uh, in an ethical way, then uh, you, it means that you are in business. <laughs>